is day three of DIMDEX 2016, the last and final day here at Qatar National Convention Center. Several defense deals were signed yesterday, so let's take a closer look at the major naval defense ones. MBDA signed two MOUs yesterday with the Qatar Armed Forces. The first one for Exocet MM40 Block 3 anti-ship missiles, and the second one for Marley Coastal Defense Systems. My left hand behind me, you have the, the Marte launcher, which is a ground launcher, which is controlled by a command and control units. This is the Marte one, the version, which can be fitted either with the Marte MK2, which is an anti-ship fire and forget missile, and as well with the Marte Yard that we've just sold to Qatar Armed Forces, and for which we are very proud, which is an upgraded version of the Marte MK2 with an increased range of 100 km. We have also uh, behind me the, the Exocet MM40 Block 3 missile, which is a widely known and widely spread missile all over, all across uh, the world, and especially in the Gulf countries, very successful. And we have been able also to uh, modernize the coastal battery, as well with the, the Exocet, and another type of uh, launcher, but same kind, with a similar command and control uh, vehicle. Thales also signed an MOU with the Qatar Armed Forces for Search Masters Airborne Maritime Surveillance Radars. Master is a brand new radar for Thales, able to operate for ISA, and this is the radar that we call the 5-in-1 radar, able to operate maritime surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, on ground able to operate every ground surveillance from Stripsar, Groundsar, GMTI, and also air tactical support. So a real radar developed for both environment, maritime, and ground uh, surveillance. No compromise between uh, the results is available to operate in both domains from submarine to vehicles up to uh, naval forces and also air support if necessary. Finally, German company MTU signed an MOU as well. The MOU that we signed yesterday is a, is a great achievement for MTU and uh, it underlines again 
the strong relationship we have with the Qatari Navy. You know, we are a long partner for many decades already and hope that this success that we just had will lead us into a more prosperous future for the years to come. DIMDEX 2016 has now come to a close. I am with uh, Brigadier Al Ansari, the Deputy Chairman, uh, to get his uh, final statement about uh, DIMDEX. So, Brigadier, what uh, can you tell us about uh, DIMDEX 2016? How was the week, uh, in your opinion? Yes, DIMDEX 2016. Uh, our, our expectation was right because we were expect, we were expected, you know, that will be going bigger and better than 2016, based on the demand we received uh, in the past. And uh, now everybody can see, you know, the, the, the total space being occupied by the exhibitor. I mean, it's uh, we about 2,000 to 25,000 square meters, and the number of uh, exhibitor also has been increased over 130 exhibitors. And even the shape of the, the, the exhibition itself, it's much, much better in terms of the, the size of the stand, the special designs, which also gives us a good image for the, for the, for the exhibition. Additional to that, the deals has been, or, or MOU has been signed in this exhibition at, uh, at over than 32 billion Qatari reals, 19 deals almost, which is also give us like a boost for the, for the next exhibition, which is can convince the other ex the exhibitor who is thinking to come to Qatar and exhibit in Demdex. There is a good opportunity for them to, uh, to find a good market here or good business, even especially with the Qatar Armed Forces. All right, shukran and uh, see you at Dimdex 2018. See you all, and also we are expecting more exhibitors. <laughs> Thank you very much for this uh, interview. Thank you.